Hi, this is Amy from AHA. Backlog management is essential for keeping everyone focused on the work that matters most, but it can be tricky to balance building new product functionality with technical work like bug fixes and performance improvements. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to organize and manage your backlog in AHA Develop so you can evaluate roadmap-driven work alongside engineering priorities and create a single unified backlog that everyone agrees on. Let's get started. Here I am on the parking lots page in the plan section of AHA Develop. This is where we can capture and organize all of our work. You can see that I've already created three parking lots here to organize work that needs review, bugs, and customer issues. I can add as many details as I want, including a description and an estimate. I can drag and drop work to put it in priority order, or I can use the re-rank user stories by menu option. We can capture and organize user stories as well as epics, and we can toggle between those two views right here. So now that we've organized all of our engineering work, we can hop over to the backlog management page and prioritize everything into a single backlog. The backlog management page is where we can see all of our work to be done in a single view. On the right, we have our engineering work listed by parking lot. This is the work we just added and organized back on the parking lots page. And you'll notice that we have this product work column here on the left. This is here because we're using AHA Develop with AHA Roadmaps. So let me quickly explain how the tools work together. Once product management has defined and prioritized what needs to be built in AHA Roadmaps, they simply assign work to the right engineering team in AHA Develop. Once they do that, it instantly appears on this product work column organized by release. So now we have a complete view of all the work that needs to get done side by side, and we can align on what matters most. On this sidebar on the far left, we have a few more options for pulling in additional work that needs to get done. We can pull in work from another workspace in AHA Roadmaps, or we can bring in work from other tools using these importer extensions. So for example, if we have some customer support issues we wanna bring in, we can connect to Zendesk, find those tickets, and drag them into our customer issues parking lot. So now we've taken all the work that our team needs to get done and we've organized it here into a single view. And we're ready to add work to our prioritized backlog here on the far right. One thing that I love that makes building your backlog a lot easier is that you can see both the estimate and the value score here in this one view. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in some items from our upcoming releases. And of course, we'll bring in some engineering work as well. We can drag and drop work within the backlog to put it in priority order. And once we do, our prioritized backlog will feed either our sprint planning or our Kanban board. If our team is working in sprints or iterations, we'll use the sprint planning view. Here you can see our prioritized backlog on the left, and we can drag work into our sprint as we plan it. And on the workflow board, we see that the prioritized backlog is here on the left as well, and we can simply pull in the next card as our team has capacity. And that's it. Now you can organize all the work your team needs to tackle into a consolidated and prioritized backlog that ensures you always tackle the work that matters most. Try it in AHA Develop today. And let us know if you have questions. Our team is here for you. Email us at support at aha.io and we'll respond super fast.